White flag is raised. Here we go. They're off in the big race of the day, the Savills Chase, grade one, over three miles and 17 fences. There are eight runners all taking their place as they jump the first. The leader is Kem Boy from Galvin, a couple of lengths to Mellon, who's followed by Delta Work, the winner of two seasons ago, as they head on to the first of four ditches. It's Kem Boy. Over the second, himself a previous winner of the race, bowls along, a couple of lengths in front of Galvin. They're followed by Mellon as they go to the third fence after Mellon is Delta Work and Janadil racing upsides Aplutar. On the inside, Franco de Port and Sam Crow in the white cap, the back marker. On they go to the fourth, the last in this line. The leader is Kem Boy and Paul Townend, bidding for a quick far grade one double. It is over from Galvin, Mellon, the Czech colors, and then Delta Work. As they come across to the second ditch, which is fence number five, Delta Work tracked by Aplutar, and then Franco de Port, Janadil, and Sam Crow sees them all. At the fifth, it's Kem Boy, the leader, right three lengths to Galvin. In third place is Mellon. Franco de Port lost a place in jumping as they come across to fence number six, taking them into the straight the first time. Little changes in the lead is Kemboy from Galvin, who was just outpointed in the champion chase at Down Royal. Over in third place, Mellon, and then Delta Work, who's followed by the favorite Aplutar, the red, white, and blue colors. The final three are Janadil who's alongside stable companion Franco de Port and Sam Crow brings up the rear. Two miles and a furlong to go from this point as they straighten for fence number seven, taking them up to the stands the first time in the 175,000 euro Savills chase. It's Kemboy showing the way to Galvin the red cap. Mellon's on the left and then Delta Work. On the far side is Jenna Dill with Aplu Tar in between horses. The last Gasp winner of last year's edition, foiling the reopposing Kemboy and Mellon. Frank would have poured last but one and bringing up the rear is Sam Crow. Circuit to race, 10 fences left to jump, and it's Kemboy leading a stacked up field. Galvin second, third is Mellon, then Delta Work, Jenna Dill, the final three are up, Lutar. Sam Crow just relegates Franco de Port to be the back marker. Away they go to the first of two fences, taking them inside the halfway stage. Kemboy, Paul Townend by two and a half lengths to Galvin, Davy Russell sitting in third as Mellon and Patrick Mullins, then dealt to work Jack Kennedy. Janet Dill has crept up on the inside from Mark Walsh, and they're followed by Aplutar and Rachel Blackmore. Sam Crow, Brian Cooper, and Franco de Port, Brian e. Frost as they go towards the next, which is fence number nine. Kemboy yet to be headed, followed closely by Galvin, parked out wide Mellon. Kemboy just ran across that fence a fraction. Janet has moved up on the inside of Delta Work. The final three are at Lutar, Franco de Port, and Sam Crow. Making the run back to the point at which they started, with eight fences left to jump. And it's Kemboy going along in the lead from Galvin. Mellon just third from Jana Dill. And they're followed by Delta Work, Franco de Port, Aplutar on the outside, who was deeply impressive on his Betfair Chase reappearance, and Sam Crow back at the rear once more. Eight fences from the finish. Kemboy the leader. By three lengths to Galvin, and third is Mellon, then Jana Dill. Delta Work, Aplutar on the outside of Franco de Port, and then Sam Crow. They've passed their point of departure, heading down the back straight with nine furlongs to go and seven fences left to jump. Kemboy enjoys a two-length lead over Galvin. Closer in third is Mellon. Three lengths back to Delta Work. Jana de la Plutar still being weighted with on the outside with the final couple, Franco de Port and Sam Crow. Heading to the second last ditch. This fence is six out. Inside their final mile in the Savills chase. It's Kemboy the leader. Over well by two lengths to Galvin. Then Mellon. After Mellon. There's a length and a half to Jeanne de la Plutar, poised on the outside of Delta Work, then Franco de Port and Sam Crow. Next on the far side, five fences from the finish. Kemboy, the leader still, from Galvin, who's chased from Flagfall, then Mellon, the Czech colors. 
Franco de Porte is trying to improve on the inside of Jeanne Dill, the Naplu Tar Delta Work, and Sam Crow at the fourth last fence. Five and a half furlongs from the finish. Kem Boy continues to go along in the lead, but is now joined by Galvin. Two lengths off them is Franco de Porte and Mel and Jeanne Dill up in between his stable companions. The final three are Delta Work, Aplu Tar, and Sam Crow is at the back of the field as they jump the last ditch. Three fences from the finish. Kem Boy by less than a length to Galvin. A break of three and a half to Mellon. Aplu Tar is starting to check them off on the outside. Then Jana Dill as they turn towards the second last. Kem Boy the leader from Galvin. Aplu Tar closes on the outside of Mellon. And then comes Jana Dill. A bad mistake by Frank and Port. Delta Works come under pressure. And then on the inside is Sam Crow. Kem Boy into the straight with closing right up on the outside. Aplu Tar who is coming there very strongly. Galvin is ridden in third and losing ground. Then Jana Dill and Mellon in line for the final fence in the Savills chase. Aplu Tar strikes the front, but only just from previous winner Kem Boy and Paul Town. And Galvin is trying to come back at them for Davy Russell. Inside the final 200 yards, it's Aplu Tar with the smallest of leads from Kem Boy. Galvin is still coming on the near side. Aplu Tar is all out from Galvin, who's closing with every stride. Galvin on the near side of Aplu Tar and Kem Boy in a belter of a Savile's chase than Mellon and Janadil.